After completing the steps in Activity 1, you're ready to move forward to Activity 2. In the second activity of the badge creating process, you'll follow along the steps to model a trophy cup to place on the base you've created before. You'll use the power of T-splines to sculpt the cup. After completing Activity 2, you'll be let loose to create your own unique design or personalize your trophy further on your own. So, to start, select the Create Form tool from the toolbar to enter the Sculpt workspace. Find and click the Cylinder tool in the Create pull-down. Select the top circular face of the base as a plane for the sketch. Move your cursor to the center of the plane and place the center point of the cylinder. Drag it to a radius of about 40 millimeters. After the cylinder preview appears, drag the height arrow to about 70 millimeters, or type the value in the dialog box. And then click OK. Next, choose Edit Form from the Modify drop down menu. Select the top circular edge by double clicking it. The Manipulator triad appears. The Modify command reminds of sculpting. Use the Manipulator to control the position, rotation, and scale, or points, edges, and faces of the T spline body. Click and drag outside the central point of the Manipulator to scale the circular edge uniformly in all directions. Select the two lower circular edges by double clicking them with Control key. It is highlighted in yellow. Click and drag left of the central point of the manipulator to reduce the scale of the circular edge uniformly in all directions. If you made a mistake or did not like the result, click the undo command on the top toolbar. Go on with it until you've gotten the required result. Next step, let's work with the hole at the bottom of the cup that we can see here. Choose the Insert Edge command from the Modify drop down menu. Select the bottom circular edge by double clicking it. The green line previews the position of the new edge. More edges allow for better control over the shape of the surface. Click OK. Find the Fill Hole command under the Modify drop-down menu. Rotate the view using the Shift key plus middle mouse button to view the cup from the bottom. Select the bottom circular edge by double-clicking it. Choose Fill Star option in Fill Hole Mode section of the dialog box. Click OK. Select the bottom face as an input for the next command. Find the Crease Edge command in the Modify drop down menu. You'll see the bottom edge becomes sharper. The surface does not have a thickness. It is a good time to add some material. Choose the Thicken command from the Modify drop-down menu. Select the surface in the graphical window and drag the arrow outside the body. Make sure that the Soft option is selected. Type 4 mm in the Thickness field. Click OK. Click Finish Form. Right click in an empty area of the canvas and select Appearance from the Marking menu. Expand the Metal group and drag Gold onto the cup model in the graphics area. Change the workspace by clicking the model icon and selecting Render. Rotate the view to get a good perspective and click the Enable Ray Tracing button on the panel to start the rendering process. It may take a while before the image will look realistic. 
Once you're satisfied with the image, select the Capture Image tool in the Render panel. Click OK to accept the image options. Then select the file path and save your file. 